here we are folks, the first hive opening of the year. It is March 22, it's about 60, 62 degrees, sunny, breezy. I hear the spring peepers, do you hear them? Not sure if you can hear them, I also saw an owl. When I first came to the bee yard, when I drove in, I saw an owl fly. And just before I turned on the camera, I heard the owl. Hoo, 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 hoo. Hoo, 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 hoo. It's pretty neat to hear at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. This hive right here is alive. The one that you see over there on the right is dead for sure. I can see pollen coming in. That's a great way to know that it's a live hive. But there are bees flying into this hive right here next to me. But those bees are just stealing honey. This is a dead hive too. I checked it a couple of weeks ago. I lifted the lid. I'm quite certain it's dead. I'll be thrilled if I'm wrong. But people get fooled by this. They see bees flying in and out on a warm day and they think, oh, it must be a live hive. But you really need to open it to find out. Smoke in the hive. Puff, puff. them down a little so you maybe can't see them too well but I see brood and bees looking from this side you can see we got bees on one two three full frames maybe a half frame there I might move them to the center a little bit I got some honey in here that they can eat so that's good I'm gonna check what's in the next box down couple frames of bees here. They might just be taking the honey from those frames and moving it where they want it. I'll check that a minute. Nothing in the lower box. If I have brood here, I'll move it into the upper box. We're going to reduce the size to one or maybe two boxes. Now they're utilizing, well, they got sugar there. Do a pollen on it there. We've been packing sugar in those frames a little bit. Quite a few bees in the air. I don't know if you can hear them. The bottom board's fairly clean. If there was a ton of bees, I'd bag them up. I'd put them in a bag, and I might still do that. I brought some bags. That way they're not lying around. We're going to move these guys to the middle of the hive. See what's happening here? Nice dark colored bees. They're all on honey there. Maybe we 
got pretty good looking brood there. Capped over brood. I don't see the queen yet. I don't want to take too long here. Got capped over brood there again. I see young larva and eggs. That's great. So few live hives this spring that I'm thrilled to see some life in here. I didn't see the queen, but that's okay. The point was just to clean out this hive a little bit. I didn't see her. I don't see her here, but I really don't mind not seeing her. I know she's in there. I saw eggs. Now I've consolidated the bees into the center of that box. And I'll add comb frames over here with honey. They'll eat through that honey and turn it into see they'll eat that honey and turn it into brood in a hurry. This time of year. That's great. Ten. That's good. I might add a second box because there's a pretty good group of bees there. I don't want them, I don't want those bees to get develop and run out of space. So I'm going to just give them that second box, I think. I'm not going to give them a third box. But this one has honey in it and everything. Notice I put that second box on top. That way they got room to move up. beetle see that lived over the winter I don't know if you could see that a rascal you saw that didn't you that small high beetle didn't live past March 22 did it Moving everything to the center here making sure all the frames are touching anywhere on there? I don't see her on here. That's okay. I just want to know if she's there. So I don't pinch her. Wow, that felt really good. To have some live bees flying around me. I love it. Got one on my hand here. Great, it just feels so good to have some live bee life around me because I've had a lot of hives that died over the winter. So I'm going to put some tape here so that the entrance is smaller. That way since the, it's not a huge population of bees, we want to give them a smaller entrance to guard. You can see how I've taped up the entrance. I left a space in the middle here, not that wide, for the bees to enter and exit. They don't know what to do. The bees don't because they're used to going in over here probably. So they're trying to do that still. But they'll figure out that this is the way in over here. I could have maybe left them more of an opening, but it's going to cool off for a week or so. We're going to have high temps in the 40s is all this next week. Um, so I'm not too concerned about leaving them a smallish opening like that. But after that, once we start getting temperatures regularly in the 60s, for sure I'll be opening up that entrance uh, twice that width for quite a while before I open it wide open. 